few months ago, we've been talking about bringing a few MIT students to Kerala to work at Tech Top Innovation Center here. And then we decided to bring in other Indian students as well so that it'd be a group team project working and they come together to look at and evaluate real problems in rural Indian communities. The idea was to see if we can integrate these two groups and you know, make field visits, understand the experiences in different communities, apply design thinking principles to identify issues, evaluate them as opportunities and then create solutions. This is a four week program. So the first week was a immersion into a much larger program with a lot more students. Just to get students from MIT would get a very deep understanding of the culture in India. The next three weeks, we just had 10 students from India and, 10, and the 10 MIT students. They came to the center here in Chirangir. This workshop has been a lot of fun, mostly because I got to know so many cool people from around the country and even people from MIT that I didn't know before. I think that was much better for like an intimate one-on-one -on -one setting where you can really get to know the other people and sort of pick their brains and see what ideas and problems they've come with and come to share. The center is basically a, a fab lab. It's an accredited fab lab. It's the first of its kind in South India. The students come in and work on their own projects at any time they want. And they all live in the living quarters here together. They visited a few different sites and one of the sites that they visited was the group of women in this village who make uh, Ayurvedic or uh, traditional soaps, organic soaps and in their houses. And we thought, how about making this connection between two people, one who's making it and one who's using it through this product and create a story, create a conduit for somehow connecting these two people through the soap. So that is how we came up with the soap called Kadha and uh, each soap comes with a little bit of a story about the person who made it. I'm usually a product designer. In this scope, I decided to do more on business, which is completely different than what I'm usually doing. Working directly with a group of women whose the skills are is that they can make organic soaps. They don't know exactly how to market it, how to sell it, how to make the company big. Most of us have never had any entrepreneurial experience and under the guidance of uh, Raj we've been able to really learn how a business forms from just having a single product um, with no marketing, no uh, business plan and bringing that product to a business where we can start selling something that people actually want and being able to bring these profits back to the women um, so they can improve their lives. And we came up with a thought and why don't we give them uh, exposure to the market because these women started making up soap like for their neighbors, for their relatives. We started learning about whole, uh, the whole procedure how to make a soap. We took help from the women, they came, they taught us. We were able to make a complete 100% natural and 100% organic soap which I think has a huge potential in market. These students went through multiple stages of learning. The initial stage is learning to fabricate, learning to make. Once you start to make, then they could actually create solutions for real problems. They could become innovators. So from maker, you could slowly make them into innovators. And once they start making things for real problems, they could actually see if there's value. That means there's someone willing to pay money to access their solution. That could lead them to entrepreneurship. So very easily you can go from zero to maker to innovator to entrepreneur. Raj has a lot of background and a lot of experience in lots of different things. So he's very useful, especially when my project is at a standstill or we don't know how to proceed or we feel like we're coming up with an issue. He's always there and ready to help. At the end of these four weeks, the idea is that they should have a plan to address any one single problem or an opportunity that they have identified and do something that can leave an impact in this community.
biggest field trip that we did was going on a houseboat in the uh, backwaters of Kerala. The houseboat was a lot of fun, but also very constructive in the fact that we were able to really come together as a, as a group, meet for a, a long period of time, and discuss the goals uh, of what we were trying to do and how we were going to um, implement our soap plan. It's amazing opportunity for these 20-year-olds who are um, either in college or just graduated college to have this experience to figure out kind of how, how do you go from finding a problem to creating some kind of product as a solution and then how do you build that business. Um, in the case of the soap, the product's already there and we were working on the business part. So they created a business plan. They actually started working with them to create a different kind of products. The students learned the process. They also made different sizes and different shapes and for use in hotels to sell in the stores and such. At the end of it, the idea was to empower these women to create these products and maybe find a market for these products in places they could never reach otherwise. We went and talked to the hotel people. We got a great response from them. We pitched our idea to them. There was like 20 or 30 hotel, uh, hotel managers and hotel owners. They were really interested. Now they're asking for the samples. The idea of going for field trips is to get into a community, even for a short time, even for half a day or, or such. These students came back with a very different perspective of, of the industry, the people, the culture, the community. Personally, I don't like working on apps, but the fact was, after looking at it, we determined that the best way to tackle the solution was through an app. Uh, if you can get an app that takes what allergies you have, and then you can, for each trip, tell it where you're going, and based on what your allergies are, and what your needs are, and then where you're going, it will help you communicate. Me and Siddharth actually identified this issue because we actually face this problem. We created a digital platform in which local customers can communicate and keep in touch with local vendors and know exactly what their offers are. At the last day of the workshop, we had this awesome opportunity to pitch the project to the IT Secretary of Kerala, the Vice Chancellor of Kerala Technical University and the Head of KSIDC. We had the marketing plan in place, we had the business strategy in place, we had the product ready, we had samples ready, and we just wanted to take this off. It was really cool to have the opportunity to speak to the leaders in the Kerala government. So to have that opportunity to talk to them one-on-one -on -one about sort of things that you've built and to get their input because they have a totally different input so they can have a fresh perspective on your idea and give you some really valuable inputs. had a really fun time, not only productive, but it's, it's been a lot of fun too. I hope that I, I'm able to do this again someday. It's been a really fun time. In the beginning, we had 10 students from US and 10 students from India. And these two groups go back to their own respective homes. They are going to take back a, uh, an experience that would actually carry them through the rest of their lives. The new business skills and entrepreneurship innovation that they see around them that's already going on in India, they can also take back some of that to MIT and apply it to what they're doing there.